So the last thing that we want to do is um, plug in our application to a different domain, um, you know, apart from Heroku. Um, so th what you want to do is log into Heroku and then go to your app. Now Heroku is not meant to um, store your app for domain purposes, right? This is kind of like a middleman. Um, and so what you'll have to do first is you'll have to verify your account. And the way you do this is by adding a credit card to your Heroku account. Now, don't worry, you're not going to get charged with anything unless you configure like add-ons or or any any other features in Heroku that do cost money. But just to add uh, domain functionality, you do not have to pay. You just have to um, verify your account with a credit card, right? So um, once you've deployed your application to Roku and go ahead and hit open app and make sure the app is running um, because you're going to need the URL that um, is assigned to it. Um, what you need to do next is go to settings. Okay, and down here where it says domain name, you hit add domain and you're going to add the name of the domain that you purchased, right? So for example, I bought this um, domain from godaddy.com. Um, it's just 99 cents. Um, so you can copy in and and so it's similar across um, hosting applications. Um, they're all a little bit different but more or less um, once you register the domain uh, the first thing you want to do is go here and add it. Okay. Once you've done that, um, then you're good to go on the Heroku side, but what you will need to do is copy the URL to the Heroku application, right? And then what you want to do is go to Manage DNS, okay? Um, it'll, it may be a little bit different if you're not using GoDaddy. If you're using something else, it, it definitely will be. Not maybe, it definitely will be. Um, but you can, um, I've tested this across a few different um, domain purchasing websites, and they're all fairly similar similar so you shouldn't have any problems um, but what you want to do is get to manage DNS okay and then you want to find one um, that has C name for the record right so like this one says C name um, if you're not using GoDaddy you won't see this you may see something different you may see an option of just adding a whole new one um, which you can do that as well but if you're using GoDaddy like I did um, you won't need to add one. You'll just need to edit this one right here, the one that says C name. And for name, you'll see www. And then um, right now, mine has the URL to my site. Um, but initially, when you first purchase the domain, you're going to see this symbol in, in this place right here, right? So like I said, if you're using a different domain hosting, um, then you'll have to just add a new record and just make, and they usually all have the C name type. So you have to use that one. And then for name, www, okay? And then for value, you're gonna point to your Heroku page, right? So everything here except for the HTTPS, right? So just this portion right here, you're gonna paste that right here. Like I said, uh, normally this will be in there by default, okay? If you're using GoDaddy, and then you just paste this over it, right? So everything, just the entire domain.com, right? And then hit save on that, right? And so normally, if as soon as you hit that, some um, some domain hosting services may take a while to update. Um, but normally, um, I've on this specific one, GoDaddy, it works immediately, so you can try it, right? I'll just do that right now. I'll just go to my domain. And you'll see right there, it is um, up and running, right? And so the way this is working is, Heroku is really the middleman. It is the the an application you could say that's running your service, that's running your Node um, server. Okay, so you're using it um, to deploy your website, and then you just use um, a domain that you purchased to sort of store that application there, right? And so one other thing that you need to do, you'll notice um, if you remove the www, um, it no longer works. So what you need to do is set up forwarding for your website. Okay, I already have mine set up, but what you need to do is just set up a forwarding here. And what that does is when users go to your app without typing www, um, like this, I'll show you. 
you'll see it still forwards to the website, right? So you need to do that to make sure that your application forwards to the, um, the proper domain, right? Okay, and that's it. It's really simple to um, go ahead and post your application. Um, and then going forward, all you need to do is just um, update your Heroku Git. Okay, and once you do that, your, your application will automatically update um, to your domain, right? So you don't have to bring down the application or anything. It just works immediately. It's really simple to do. Okay, so that's it.